didn't see you there. Tell me, have you, have you ever looked at the horizon, spoken on the phone to an old friend miles away, or taken just a moment to stop and smell the roses and wonder to yourself, this is all just a big lie? <laughs> Excuse me, my name is Carrie Shemansky. What's the matter? Never seen a girl play a banjo before? <laughs> oh, or are you looking at that? Anyway, I'm here to tell you a story. A little brass bird story. <laughs> what? What's that? Wait a minute, you mean to tell me you've never heard of Little Brass Bird? What have you been doing with yourself? Sit down and let me give you a quick recap in case you missed out. Roderick and Robin work at a clock shop. A suspicious man came in, tried to sell him a scar. Roderick exploded, Mrs. Hong came in. Robin and Penwall found themselves suspended in a vast sea of white. There was no sound, no sight, and no smell for as far as the eye could see. Perceiving the dead silence as an inviting opportunity, Penwall put on his reading glasses and took out a chump bar to read the lettering, but had already taken a bite out of it, leaving the word incomplete. It's... <laughs> It's, it's not, it's not it's fair, fair, said Penwald. It's, it's, it's not, not Robin gloomed at her furry, recently I disappointed find, companion, and she felt I she should find. cheer him up. But since she had never eaten a chump bar before, she didn't know how it ended either. So she also began to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Why so bitter, my curious critters? What? what? Oh, posh. You cry, you weep over a candy bar, yet you lack the conscience to ask where you are. Where am I? muttered Robin. Where? I remember now. Something happened. The world ended is what happened, said Benwald. Welcome. Welcome. Sit. 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 Please, Please take, take your time. Your time. You're, in, You're limbo in limbo now. now. Um, 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 do I know you? Nine! Nine. 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 Um, 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 does he does always he speak in rhyme? rhyme? Robin, 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 meet, meet my, cousin my cousin Sigmund. 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 Uh, am I dead? Not really. Not really. You, see, you see, Sigmund, Sigmund and I have a special have gift. gift. A sort a of, of interdimensional inter immunity. immunity. We transcend time and space, you see. If one world ends, we can join another community. Sigmund! Sigmund. Anyway, anyway, if one timeline time ends, ends, we simply end up here, end up here until we until find, we find another, another one. one. And since you and I were in contact with each other when the world imploded on itself, we came here together. So you can go anywhere from here? Yes. And any time? Mm, basically. Wow. 
think of the possibilities. Hmm. Well, I'm bored. Let's go home. More white? Bellowed Robin. What is that? Who? What's going on? It's me, said Penwald. And with me, that equals three. Sigmund T This isn't home. Well, you can't recognize it, but we're actually in the clock shop. I don't understand. Things look a little different when you lose dimension. How am I supposed to find my way out? All I see is white and shades of black. I feel like I'm at an emperor concert. I don't like it. Take me home, Penwald. Well, this looks about right. Hello? Um, we're open until late. Do we have... No, no, I'm sorry. We're a clock shop, not an ice cream store. That was strange. Wrong number, was it? Technology convention. Many error preventions. But in this particular case, someone was simply not paying attention. Segment! Hello? We're located just next door to the Daddy Arbucks coffee shop. That's right, yes, yes. No, no, no. Sorry, we're a clock shop, not an ice cream store. Yes. Oh, oh, really? I'll make sure we change it right away. Thanks. Hello? Queried a familiar voice. Robin, it's me, Roderick. I bought some food for dinner. I bought some balut for starts, continued Roderick. <sighs> Meh. Then some denugoin for main course. Meh. <laughs> ah! Penwald, get me out of here! Do you mean? I mean, the not crazy one. <laughs> oh, yes. I suppose you're right. Oh, um, before we head out, you should probably wear this. It may not be my size. Don't be silly. It's so quiet. Almost stealth. Let's look for the clock shop, shall we? If they have one. Robin and Penwald approached an unlikely creature atop of a hill. It slumped as it stood and breathed with a heavy cadence as small droplets of drool dangled from the edge of its mouth. The stare, vacant yet piercing. Penwald continued to eat his chomp bar to cope with the anxiety. Though frightened, Robin felt she hadn't a choice and spoke to the ghastly creature. Can you point us in the direction of the local clock shop? Uh, 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 rubbish. Oh, it's still looking at us. Just don't look back. This looks about right, but something's missing. Oh! Oh! you forgot your chomp bar! Oh, shoot! Oh, we forgot Sigmund! Um... We could live in a world where dinosaurs rule the earth But that's too scary, so let's not stay there We could live in a world where we don't need to eat food But I like pizza, so let's not stay there We could live in a world where no one's ever died But that's too crowded, so let's not stay there We could live in a world where there are no more songs But let's not stay there Let's 
not stay there. Penwald! cried Robin. Just take me back to my own dimension. We've been to a million of these and none of them are, none of them are right. At least at home, I know how it land. There's no harm in that. We're back. A few months before the end, of course. But we're back. Hmm. Hmm. Shouldn't I be running into my other self? You should. Yes? Yes, what? Someone said something. Hello? I I'm right here. Right where? Right here, in my head. Robin? What? What, what are you doing in there? What are you doing out there? Give me back my body. Not until you give me back my head. I swear, if you don't come out right now, so help me, I'll... Brawling with life and saturated in stories, this city begins with a small clock shop tucked away somewhere in its belly. This is Little Brass Bird. That was Little Brass Bird. Season one may be over, but season two's around the corner. Two, three, four.